Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel BIM Creative. I am Sabrina and today I am gonna paint a little painting. <laughs> little. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, uh, I bought these uh, but they're definitely smaller than I thought. Uh, they're only like 7 times 7 centimeters so I'm gonna see if I can paint something on these. Um, I was thinking about painting an environmental painting, like a view of some kind, um, and see if I can make it really detailed. So it would look like it's a big painting when you're zoom in on it, but it's actually this small. So we're gonna see how that's gonna go. Um, yeah, so I've just found all the smallest um, brushes I have, and um, yeah, so we're gonna see that, and then I have this, these ones as well. I only want to use these ones just to make a um, a little bit of of a challenge for me. So this is um, actually um, twelve colors I bought in New Zealand when I was down there. So um, I'm gonna use these ones. The white one I broke, so I it's probably not good. So I have another white one, also one I bought in um, New Zealand, so I thought it was not that much of a um, breaking the rules. But these are the only ones I can use, I can mix them, I can do whatever I want um, with them, but I can't use anything else but these. So we're gonna see how that's gonna go, and some of them are almost uh, done, So, uh, but I can't use anything else instead, so um, it's gonna be interesting to see how that's gonna go so we have uh, titanium white I um, this one is also a titanium white and then we have oh, yeah, look at that <clears throat> then we have lemon yellow we have medium yellow you see it there we go medium yellow we have brilliant red Crimson, Blue Lake, then we have um, Blue, <laughs> I have to pronounce that, sorry, Pistalo Blue, <clears throat> it's blue, then we have light green then we have oh my god green another green the green we have yellow yellow okra i think it's pronounced um burnt sienna and moss black that's it that's the colors we have um i'm gonna paint something and we're gonna see how that's gonna turn out and I'm gonna keep it in this angle so you guys can see it and maybe move it but still all the way close because it is small so um, yeah and oh it's uh, acrylic paint this time first time you guys see what I can do with acrylic paint um, but this is my um, my normal medium this is the what I normally use I've always painted with acrylic painting and um, acrylic paint sorry and yeah, yo, you could see it was acrylic. And um, but it's gonna be interesting now. It's in a in a small one, so yeah, we're gonna see how that's gonna go.
here is my final result and it's very obvious that I've taken inspiration in a Bob Ross painting I've looked at one as well um, but I really like his videos and his paintings so obviously and of course the first time I ever made a Bob Ross painting I did it on a miniature canvas that is seven times seven centimeters um, instead of just a normal painting but yeah um, so I tried to uh, do an impression of him and uh, or his paintings and um, I'm really happy about the result actually I tried to I tried to sign it a little bit you can't see my name at all but uh, I tried to so yeah I'm just gonna move it close so you guys can see I really tried to get some details in here and yeah the water um, the trees as well and yeah, it was uh, interesting to try with acrylic painting. But yeah, this was the end result. I'm actually really happy about it. And um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like so other people can find it as well and see it. Um, it would really mean a lot to me. And what else would mean a lot to me would be if you guys would like to subscribe to my channel because when um, I still have my, my show of my first watercolor painting ever, when I get 10 subscribers so if you guys want to see that subscribe to my channel and I'll show you the painting is really bad so um, you can see me do something very bad if um, if you subscribe uh, so yeah please subscribe please like this video it mean a lot to me and um, I don't have anything else to say but until next time stay safe and bye